Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. As part of uh, CCS Spark and Hadoop Developer, we are talking about write a query that produces ranked or sorted data using Spark. So far, we have seen um, uh, global ranking and sorting. Um, before getting into per key or uh, per group uh, ranking and sorting, I would like to introduce you uh, to some uh, uh, collection oriented functions in Scala and then we will uh, get into the more complex uh, MapReduce or Scala based uh, Spark applications uh, to uh, which will actually group uh, rank or sort by group. So I am getting into the VM and uh, typically you can create a list by running command like this one. You have to either use val or var and then give the variable name and then you can uh, define uh, um, the data type like this if you want to create a list for int or you can also say val list equal to like this and you have to say list here and now it automatically takes depending upon the data type of uh, each of the element it will take the data type otherwise you can also specify like this and hit enter and now you got the list so if you want to get the number of elements in the list uh, you can say uh, list dot length and hit enter it will give number of elements in the list if you got uh, if you want to get the distinct number of uh, distinct elements in the list you can just say list dot distinct and hit enter it will give you the distinct elements and if you want to sort it you can say sorted and it will give the sorted uh, elements if you want to get reverse you can say reverse and it will give the reverse uh, elements in the list. If you want to get uh, sorted and reverse, you can say sorted reverse and it give the elements which are sorted and then in reverse order. And if you want to get uh, top, uh, uh, top five elements after sorting, you can say list sorted dot reverse dot take and you can give number of elements you want to take and hit enter it will give top five elements if you want to get distinct you can say list distinct sorted reverse and hit enter you can get all the elements in this in reverse order and then you can apply take of five from this and it will give top five elements from the list okay that is how you can apply different list operations we will use all these things and um, um, if you want to read a particular element from the list you can say list of zero will give the first element in the list and you can see that the first element is uh, uh, one in the list I think uh, uh, that's how you can get whatever element you want to get by using subscript and the subscript start with zero okay and uh, one more thing is uh, when you are actually working on Scala uh, one there is uh, one aspect uh, uh, where people get to confuse quite a bit um, uh, you use subscripts in some cases and you use something like dot underscore one or underscore two uh, notation in some other cases for example if you go to our script in uh, uh, github you can see that you can uh, see in several cases where we use uh, underscore notation let me show you I will get into aggregate, calculate aggregate statistics. Uh, okay, I have not used underscore uh, notation in uh, most of the scenarios. Uh, 
but uh, if you want to add elements people use list of reduce and then underscore plus underscore and hit enter it will actually add the sum of uh, all the elements and provide you the sum so in, uh, if you are using um, um, uh, tuples this underscore can cause uh, a little bit of confusion and we will see where you will have to use underscore um, one underscore two to represent uh, items and where you you should use uh, subscripts so for list operations you can use subscripts without any question but if you create a tuple for example let me create a tuple here and i want to create a tuple of integer integer and then i want to i want to give uh, uh, elements as 0 and 1 and now if i want to read first element in the tuple this is called as tuple you can just say t dot underscore 1 and you will get the first element and t dot underscore 2 will get the second element okay that's how you can actually um, uh, uh, read the tuples data and uh, uh, in you know, for when we are actually running spark applications the rdd uh, can be a tuple uh, in uh, many scenarios for example the um, uh, the map function uh, if the map function emits the tuple uh, then the reduce function will get the array of those tuples so you need to understand where the, it is represented as tuple and where it is represented as uh, uh, a list and based upon that you have to take the necessary action time uh, you you might see something like this t of int and then you might see something like iterable of int and then you can you might see uh, one and then a list of one two three four five etc and hit enter now we, uh, the uh, the variable t have a tuple in which the first element is of type integer and the next one is a collection which is of type list and now if i do t, t dot underscore one i will get the first element from the tuple and t dot underscore two i will get the second element which is the list in the tuple now if i want to read the elements in the tuple i have to um, the second tuple which is of type list i have to use 0 yeah before I have the uh, data type as iterable iterable is an interface uh, which is to iterate the data so iterable does not have uh, the subscript notation that's why it failed earlier I changed the uh, sec uh, data type of the sec second element in the tuple to list of integers rather than iterable of integers uh, and now I can read uh, the second uh, 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 means the array uh, which is the second element in the tuple using the subscript but to read the tuple itself I have to use this underscore 2 notation and when you actually use subscripts it will start with 0 and when you actually use underscore notation to read a particular element in the tuple it starts with underscore 1 underscore 2 etc now we will try to define more complex thing like int of again I am want to create a tuple in which uh, the first element is of type uh, uh, list of int and the second element uh, in the second tuple is of type uh, list of string okay so i uh, i uh, this uh, this is declared as a tuple which have a nested tuple the first element of the main tuple is of type int and the second element is a nested tuple which is a, uh, uh, which is having two listed types in them one is of type int and one is of type string now i can define uh, i can assign saying this list of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and then list of hello world and hit enter I think I have to give one more bracket yeah so now the first element uh, in the tuple is one and the second uh, element is a tuple in which the first element is a list of uh, integers and the second element is of li uh, list of strings now if I say t dot underscore one I will just get one t dot underscore two will be a tuple you can see that uh, it gives a tuple of list of integers and strings 
and then if I want to read the first list I can use t dot underscore dot dot underscore one which will give the uh, list of integers and t dot underscore uh, two dot underscore two will give the uh, list of strings and if I want to read what is the first string in the list I can use the um, subscript operator on the list and get the details like this okay so it is very important to understand this we will uh, we we have used quite a bit of uh, tuples uh, in the past and uh, uh, going forward we will use uh, uh, as part of functions so it is very important to understand this and then uh, we will also revisit uh, group by key uh, earlier we uh, we should have seen um, the aggregate functions such as reduce by key count by key group by key um, and uh, uh, combine by key group by key is the most generic uh, but when you try to use aggregations you should not use group, group by key because it does not use co combiner which is a very powerful concept but for group by sorting and ranking you need to use group by key um, which is uh, 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 which will actually group by the a particular key uh, within the data set and then you can actually get the results based on the key let me demonstrate that here i am re reading the products data set again using sc.txt file slash user slash cloud error slash uh, scoop import slash products and then products dot map i want to uh, um, emit and the product price uh, or product category in this case product category is the second element uh, so i want to get uh, in, in the next video i, I uh, grouping by category id i want to get uh, 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 both sorting and ranking uh, so i will be using product category id so for that i have to use split operation on the rec rec is nothing but a com comma separated um, uh, record so hence I can use split by comma and it is the first element which is the product uh, category ID. Split will give you a list or array. Uh, so you have to use uh, uh, the subscript operator to read from that array or list after split function. That's why we are using uh, uh, subscript operator here. And then I want to convert it into int and then I would like to emit rec itself. And then I can do group by key okay and uh, then uh, by grouping by key i would like to just take few records and then print ln for each print ln and hit enter you can see that it has uh, given the uh, data and you can see first you got uh, the product category ID as integer and then uh, it has given the list here okay so by using group by key we are creating the list uh, 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 grouping by particular key so if you have uh, n number of product categories and m number of products itself then you will get uh, n number of rows like this uh, in which product category ID will be the key and uh, all the values which have the, uh, the corresponding product category ID will become a iterable list. So this is nothing but iterable list for this product category ID 52 in this case. So using uh, holding the product category ID you can do advanced operations. Um, um, the basic operation could be sum itself if you want to get just the sum of uh, a particular uh, thing or um, you can have more advanced operations uh, such as uh, uh, sorting and grouping etc and we have we, we we would have seen the sum operation already as part of uh, the aggregations so i will not get into those details as part of these videos in the next video we will see how we will use the uh, uh, the concepts which we have revisited such as the operations on lists and also uh, the group by and then we will also develop some functions and invoke those functions using uh, 
uh, uh, Scala based uh, spa, uh, scripts or programs uh, to implement uh, uh, ranking and sorting group by a particular key which is product category ID in this case. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you have any technical questions, please use Stack Overflow or to ask the questions with appropriate tags. And if you want to discuss on Hadoop certifications or uh, Apache Spark, you can join my LinkedIn groups, IT Varsity Hadoop certifications or IT Varsity Apache Spark. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.